Hello everyone. Today I'm going to be showing how to do how to to do this um, <clears throat> floating banana effect in Photoshop. It's like the illusion that the banana is uh, the pieces of the banana are floating in the air. The first thing that you want to do is you're going to want to take the picture of you holding the banana, and this is how I done it. Uh, all you want to do is cut the banana in pieces and put a stick through it and uh, take the shot and then once you have the picture you open the picture in Photoshop and all that we are going to be using today it's only two tools we're going to be using only the stamp tool the clone clone stamp tool and the polygonal lasso tool and other than that only the zoom tool to zoom into the, the banana and from here, we are going to remove these parts of the of the stick between the, the banana pieces. And the first thing we're going to do is uh, grab the stamp, the clone stamp tool. Okay, and if we hold Alt in your keyboard, you hold the key, the, the key Alt, and you'll see that the cursor changes. And when you have this cursor, then you uh, click, uh, uh, do a click with your mouse, like click here, anywhere in the in the in this background in this wall. And then uh, let go the Alt key, and when you mouse over the stick, you're actually copying this part of the wall that that you picked before. You're gonna copy this part. You're gonna see that appears uh, where whatever the cursor is. So we're gonna use this to to remove the the parts of the stick that we don't want. Oh, by the way. You can, when you have your um, clone stamp tool selected, from <clears throat> this bar up here, these are the properties of the tool. If you change the tool here, you'll see that the, the, the properties, <clears throat> the properties bar on the top changes as well. So whatever the tool that you have selected from here, you will see the properties of this tool up here. So when you select the clone tool, the clone stamp tool, you'll see the properties of this tool up here and here you can change the size i have it 31 pixels the size uh, which is this uh the the size that you see on the cursor but this will depend on how big your picture is and uh, it depends on the dimensions of your picture or the space that that you have in between each piece of the banana you want to size something the proportion of the of the size of the tool it's going to be something like, like like i have here and the hardness, I have it set to 50%. It'll be, it, it will make the, the job easier. Okay, so we can, we can keep going now because I want to do this part and it's, um, I have less room here. I'm going to make the, the, the cursor smaller. I'm going to put it down to uh, 17. And I, I'm going to go ahead and I hold Alt again to pick again from uh, the wall color from here. And now I'm gonna do the same. Just mouse over and and start clicking uh, with your mouse on top of the. It doesn't have to be perfect yet because then we're gonna fix these little things here. But for now this should be enough. And now I'm gonna go, go ahead and do this part here. I hit Alt again to pick the color from this from this side. And uh, something like this. I think this should be enough for now. Okay, now I'm going to do this part of the banana here. I'm going to pick the color from inside the banana. And I'm going to do the same. Okay, this should be good. Now I'm going to pick the color from inside this banana, or this piece of banana, and same method. Just click on top of the... Yeah. Something like this should be good enough. Now I'm gonna do this part here. This part of the stick is actually um, overlapping the shadow, so I want to pick the color from the shadow from here, not from the wall. And I want to make this smaller, a lot smaller. Something. Oh, actually, let me zoom in more and. Uh, make the, the hardness zero percent I want it to be very very soft and the for this thing the size a little bigger not, not that big only one click okay 
this was too much but anyway if you make a mistake just uh, undo the last step by going to edit uh, undo clone stamp or hit ctrl z on your keyboard and it will undo the last step okay well i think this is good enough now we're gonna do this part here i want to pick the color from here Okay, and now this part here. Okay, and I think this is uh, all. Now I want to. I also want to fix the shadow because you see you have the, the the shadow of the stick here. This is very easy. Just grab the. I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger. And yeah, something like this. I pick the color from here and something like this. Same, I'll make it smaller for this part. But and now this part Okay, and now the <clears throat> the t-shirt. So what I do here is the easiest the easiest way to do this is grabbing a piece of uh, of t-shirt from here, like this pattern, and put it overlapping the stick. So I grab the polygonal lasso tool. Uh, make sure you have the top layer selected and grab a piece of t-shirt from here it doesn't have to be perfect something like this and now right click on it and say layer via copy and now with this piece of t-shirt that you copy it in a new layer grab the move tool and move it <coughs> over this uh, thing you can um, rotate it a little bit to follow what I want to do is I want this this um, strip here or this uh this, this color that goes like this i want it covering this part of the t-shirt that goes like this so i'm gonna rotate it to make it go the same uh you know following the same path and then i'm gonna put it on top of it and something like this you can even make it a little bit uh, the, the, uh, lower the, the opacity and so you can see the one that's under it and make it match you know follow the same path and now I think it's good enough now let me put the opacity again to 100% uh, and now I only have to er erase the parts that I don't want from this thing so grab the eraser tool and let me zoom in into it a little bit more I like to work with anything from very very close and now what we're gonna do is uh, with the eraser tool I'm gonna set, uh, having this layer selected I'm gonna click once here and if you leave the shift key you hold the shift key on your keyboard and go and then click here it'll make a straight line from you know the first point to the second with the eraser tool, it'll erase like like up straight from the first to the second point and we're gonna do the same in this part. I click once here and holding shift then I click here and it erases the whole thing and now I wanna I wanna make this um, 
the properties of the eraser tool. I want the opacity to be uh, 80% and the flow to be 60%. And I want to make it very big. And maybe not as big. And I want to erase parts of this, uh, you know, this uh, layer that I created. But I want to make it soft. So, so that it uh, blends into the, um, it blends with the, with the layer below. I don't know if this is very clear, but you can see my example. You probably can understand it. And I think that's all. If we zoom out, it's not perfect, but no one's going to know that you did this here. You know, from here, from this distance, no one is going to know that this, this has been edited. So let me zoom into it again to, to, to fix this part here. This part is easy, and I'm going to fix it with um, with a clone uh, clone stamp tool. I'm not going to use any more parts of the t-shirt. I'm just going to do it with this tool. So I pick the color from very close from here. And, oh, sorry, I have to select this part. So I pick the color from here, and I'm just going to go over the stick, something like this. And let me pick the color again from here to cover this part here. One. Sure. I think this is good enough. Now let me fix this little part of here. Uh, let me grab the color from the banana here. And go over the stick. One, two. And this is good enough. If I zoom out, I think this is... Uh, I think this is good. There's a little bit more of the stick here. I will do this with the stamp, clone stamp tool. I pick the color from here and I go over over the thing. Again. I think that's all. I think that's all um that's all that I wanted to show. And after that what I do usually I is I, I play a little bit with uh with the adjustment, because it's a little bit dark, maybe I I put the um, the bright I um I put the bright the brightness a little bit higher, and but yeah, for this tutorial, it's all I wanted to show is how to use the the clone stamp tool to remove parts uh, of the sticks to create this illusion of a floating floating banana or floating foot. So I hope you liked it, and I will see you in the next tutorial.